Once upon a time, in a small town nestled deep within the woods, there was an old and abandoned basketball court. It had been years since anyone had set foot on its cracked and weather-worn surface. The town's children whispered tales of the court being cursed, haunted by the ghost of an old player who had met a tragic end there one gloomy autumn evening. Three brave friends, Alex, Mia, and Ethan, decided to investigate the eerie stories that had circulated for years. The leaves rustled ominously as they entered the court. The full moon cast eerie shadows across the cracked concrete. It felt like the court itself was watching their every move. Alex bounced a basketball, his echoing thuds breaking the silence. Suddenly, the ball seemed to take on a life of its own. It dribbled itself towards the court's center and stopped abruptly. The friends exchanged nervous glances, their hearts bounding as they gathered round the stationary ball. An icy wind swept through the court, extinguishing their flashlights. Panic set in as they fumbled to relight them. When the beams finally returned, the court had transformed. The rusty hoops were now sinister, twisted shapes that seemed to reach out for them. The friends heard whispers in the wind, chilling words that set shivers down their spines. You shouldn't have come here, the whispers seemed to say with trembling hands. They picked up the basketball and decided to make a run for it, but the court seemed to have other plans. The ground beneath them cracked and shifted, trapping them in a nightmarish maze of concrete and shadows. Desperate to escape, they ran in every direction, but it was as if the court itself was alive, constantly changing its layout. After what felt like hours, the three friends found themselves at the court's edge, where the woods began. The transformation didn't end there. The forest appeared dark and foreboding. With twisted trees and eerie fog, they realized they had crossed into an even more sinister realm. They ventured further into the woods, the whispers growing louder, urging them to turn back. Suddenly, they stumbled upon an old, decrepit cabin. It was the source of the whispers, and they had no choice but to enter. Inside, they found a dusty basketball trophy, a picture of a smiling boy holding a basketball, and a journal filled with entries about a tragic accident on the court years ago. The boy had been the victim, and he had died without ever getting to finish his last game. As they read, the whispers grew louder and the cabin seemed to come alive with a malevolent energy. The ghost of the boy appeared before them, sorrow and anger in his eyes. He blamed them for disturbing his resting place. In a final act of desperation, the friends pleaded for forgiveness, promising to honor his memory and the court. The ghost slowly faded away and the cabin's sinister aura lifted. The forest returned to its normal state, and the basketball court no longer felt curse. The friends made their way back to town, grateful to have survived the nightmarish ordeal. They vowed never to speak of what happened, and to ensure the old court remained undisturbed, letting the past rest in peace.